YouTube and welcome back to the second episode of my European CD in CD Skylines. This is my CD which I've named Snuffbox and if you're curious about how I got that name, I'm in med school and I was studying anatomy and I found out that there is this triangle between our thumb and index finger, uh, which if you... Uh, if you flex your thumb upwards, it creates a depressed triangle, and that is actually called the anatomical snuff box. And I just found it so cute that th I decided to name my city after it. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Last episode, we were working on the old town, and I didn't finish it in the episode. But as you could see, the footage was very sped up in my last video. So now I have a shorter segment, uh, which I've sped up, I think, four times. So this video should be way more pleasant to watch. And I probably won't make another episode on the, on the old town, but it's finished now. Except for like some parks uh, around the castle and uh, the church or the cathedral. But I'm basically gonna do the detailing later, uh, I think. And this episode we're focusing on the road network for the downtown area. And I started with making a ring road around the old town. As you can see, the old town has this cobblestone roads from uh, the Paris asset pack. And in the other roads, I have a uh, European road, I think it's ca it's called road networks or net network extensions or something. Uh, a mod that you can change the color of the roads to more European like. Because in the base games the roads are very concretey. I know it's not actually concrete, it's, it's asphalt or at least that's what we call it over here. But it's like this American style concrete that's very bright. And roads just don't look like that over here in Europe. So I have this darker one. Um, it kind of looks wonky in the intersections with the cobblestone roads. But I would imagine that's how it would look uh, in real life as well. So the, the roundabout that you see here in the picture, it feeds, uh, it feeds traffic to the city from... I think I have two, or there are two intersections with the highway that are kind of far from the city center and that they feed uh, traffic to the downtown area. And later now, after I've been like de uh, detailing and, and plopping buildings in the downtown area, I realized that I should actually have put the roundabout on the right road uh, coming into the downtown area because the majority of the people are using that road to get to the downtown area and it's better if that feeds to a roundabout because it alleviates the it alleviates the congestion in that area but you know mistakes were made and i decided to <laughs> to work with what i have and uh, decided to keep the roundabout in that position um, so yeah I don't think I've finished the the, the round road around the down uh, around the old town. Yeah, I think I have it like built this far, because I wasn't sure. Uh, I have a kind of like a castle structure at the. You can see it like going towards the beach from the old town, and I didn't know if I was gonna keep that yet, so I didn't finish the circular road that goes around the old town. But I I ended up removing it later, and then I built the the round road that goes around the old town later. Here you can kind of see where the traffic is actually coming from. It's these huge intersections further away, connected to the highway. I think I'm gonna build some neighborhoods of, of low density residential along these roads and maybe even build some farmlands, industrial areas. I will see what fits to the area and then build accordingly. Mm, yeah, so this roundabout has kind of many connections. I also think I end up, yeah, I think <laughs> I think I ended up removing that one. And I don't know if I make 
more changes to it in the future it's gonna be kind of hard to compare compare because i can't really remember what it looks like in the start but this is kind of a preliminary layout of the of the road network so i have this circular road around the old town and then from there i draw these i i think you would call them radial roads that come out of that one and then connect uh, to another circular road but i'm i make sure that the out the outer circular road doesn't go doesn't also make a circle around the old town. First of all, it wouldn't fit because we get water in the way. And second of all, I don't want to have too much symmetry. And that's how we, that's why you see I'm trying <laughs> to not make it a grid layout. I'm trying my hardest to not make it a grid layout. Uh, by you can start out with making a grid, but what you have to do is not connect each and every one of the roads um, you can plop a grid then you remove a few sec sections add a few sections make some diagonal roads make a roundabout um, what i tend to do is if there are a lot if you make for example a diagonal road and you get a an intersection with like four or five intersecting roads that's when I like to plop down a roundabout and because um, it really helps with the traffic flow in that area. And what I also like to do is what I'm doing right here. It's to not have intersections too close to the roundabout because that will cause congestion. So if I want to have a connection between two roads that are close to a roundabout, I like to make it a subpass. And sometimes I just make sub passes like this one here, for example, because they look nice and I could imagine them existing in real life as well. Here it's mainly because I have one road that already feeds to this road. Uh, this road will end up leading to uh, in, uh, in an industrial area. So I don't want to have too many intersections on that road. Uh, later, I also end up upgrading. I, I was very spe specific about keeping as much two-lane roads as possible. Sure, in European towns there are some esplanade. Es I think it's called esplanade. Maybe it's esplanade. Esplanade. Anyways, you know these roads with with trees in the middle or along the sides. I think they're maybe they're called. No, I'm not gonna get into it. I know there are that kinds of roads, but I try to keep it into two lane roads to keep it to keep the European feel. Uh, but I did end up adding some four lane roads just because I will be adding a met, um, a tram line in the downtown area. And when it was two lane roads with a tram line, the traffic was just moving so slowly. I would have had to make the roads tram only for there to be any kind of traffic flow on the roads but then again i needed those roads because they led f they led to the train station for example um and from the train station so i i really needed to have cars on those roads as well so that's why i ended up upgrading them to four lane roads you will probably see that in a later episode this is the one of the places where i decided to add a roundabout it might seem like a pretty odd place to have one because it's at the far end or far end of the downtown area towards the water but there were just a lot of connections in this place and uh, yeah I felt like that was a good place for a roundabout I think we we make one more roundabout to the right from this area I don't remember exactly where it is so yeah, we ended up having three roundabouts in the downtown area. There might be more on the other side of the old town. Or if I notice that there is just some area that doesn't have enough traffic flow. Uh, but we'll see. Here's another place where I make a, a subpass or an underpass. Because if I had an intersection there, it would uh, probably or most likely cause congestion within the roundabout. So yeah, this was the second episode of my city skylines european build and uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode